How you doing? My name is Eric Francis and welcome to Color Harmony. Today's topic of interest is finishing your painting. I start by sketching out the subject with a ballpoint pen and using light watercolor like washes in my drawing book to get an idea of the direction I want to take with this one. I then redraw it on a canvas, give it an umber wash, and we're ready to begin. Let's go. This painting was done by mainly tinting. And uh, what I mean by tinting is uh, just adding white to a color. I usually start off with a general idea of the direction I'll be taking with the painting. But at the same time, I remain loose and flexible. Because while you're painting, other ideas come into your head. And sometimes they're very good and you just go with that. I usually start off with a general idea because I get so many ideas, you know, that you have to kind of hone in on what you want to do sometimes. Or I find that, I find that's what I have to do. I have to kind of hone in on what I want to do because there's a world of things that you could paint and then like an infinite number of worlds of ideas that you can have in your head swirling all around your mind at one time. Or I find that anyway. So I, I have to like, rein it in. Because I have such a good idea about how I want it to look, I have direction. And I also know what I want it to look like when I'm done. Finishing a painting is my favorite part. Because that's when you get to add all the little details that I love. But this can kind of get you into trouble sometimes. Because you can go completely away from what you intended to do. And sometimes you get to this point and you decide, no, I don't like it. <laughs> just keep going just keep going here's what you do find your favorite painters and look over all their work and you might find a few in there that aren't so great you know it's not really up to up to par it doesn't really compare to all the rest of their work what if he stopped when he did that painting you know what if he just said I'm not painting anymore I'm no good at it the world would be worse off so don't stop, just keep going, just keep going. That one painting doesn't represent your entire lifetime of painting. You know what I mean? Plus the universe doesn't swing in the balance every time you don't finish a painting the way you like. So just relax. Or sometimes you might not even know what to do to finish a painting. You know, at that point I usually walk away um, read a book, watch a little TV, take a little walk, but when I get back, I see what I need to do. Like, there might be some pencil marks showing, maybe I need to finish the eye, or this thing doesn't look blended quite right, and then I'll go through and do those things. You have to remember, though, that you're in a, a, a forever growing process, so you might come back to that painting like a couple days later and see that you could have done more. Don't worry about it. You're growing. You're changing, you're getting better, you're seeing more. This is a positive sign. Don't take it as a negative thing. Like what you see? If you do, do me a favor. Subscribe, like, share, or comment. These videos are made in response to questions I get asked all the time. So feel free to ask. Peace.